Previously on Stingers. It seems that we somehow have got off on the wrong foot. Huh? If anybody's to blame, it's probably me, but I'd like to put it right. So, what I'm suggesting is that we get together, say, over a meal. Are you asking me out? Yes, I am. I think we should do dinner. Arrogant. As well as conceited. It's my fault, eh? Mm. Well, it suits you better than bullying. Oh, I'm glad you like it. I guess that's my cue to start flirting. If you mm. like. All right, well, I'll work on it. You're doing a fine job. Oh, I can do it a lot better. I bet you can. Detective Chatterley brought this sexual harassment matter to my attention. I may as well tell you, I'm not willing to waste police resources on your domestic issues. I think it's more than a domestic issue. Detective Marks. I think you owe Inspector Harris some form of disclosure about your personal history. So what exactly is it you have to disclose some terrible thing that happened to you in the past? So, and that's supposed to explain your behaviour? Actually, something terrible did happen to me. Oh, really? Yes. I had you as a father. I, w I wasn't going to tell you, but there you go. Some time after your mother and I split up, I was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Don't try and explain 20 years of ignoring my existence by walking in here and telling me that you've, you've finally figured out why you're such an asshole. some bloody retired Viet Cong general who still does the traditional preparation. Your efforts are greatly appreciated. All things with your kid. Your long lost daughter. How do you know about that? You were banging on about her last time. You harassed her. Sexually. <laughs> <laughs> she said. <laughs> it's all right, don't worry. You're among friends. Haven't you got any better conversation to preface this meeting with? Okay. How's work? Busy. Good. And you? Busy. Good. Got a little something else for you. Serotol. Keeps your serotonin levels up. Eases the hangovers, keeps your head clear. You've been hitting it hard lately. You know, good to us off your face all the time. Come on, where's the love? Yes. You've got nothing to worry about. God was thinking when he made these little fellas. Can't win them all. You know, I think it's true what they say about owners of their pets. Is it? I don't know, Pete. There's an uncanny likeness there. <laughs> <laughs> I rest my case. Oh. <laughs> Here they come. Hey guys. Bye. 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 Bye.
This must be Nessie. Yeah. I know. She's a little smoke bubble, isn't she? She's beautiful. Oh, I know. We just love her. I get a laugh every time I see you and Jabba together. <laughs> they look like each other, don't they? Yes. yes. Well, Jabba is an incredibly good-looking dog. Yes. <laughs> Aren't you, Jabba, huh? Um, we've got some good news. We managed to screw down our supplier. Any order over 5,000 units, we can do you at 12 a pop. Happy, Reg? Yeah. Talk a bit of crap, and then... Babe, um, how long before you can offload that degree? Just a matter of a few phone calls. Why? You might have seen in the news, uh, a few dealers have, have been rolled lately. Um, Nick the Turk, last yeah. month. Mm-hmm. Uh, that guy in Preston the other day, what's his name? Um, oh. Nick Hullab... Hullab... Dennis Hullab... Hullab... Ne Dennis Hullab... No, How something. Dennis Hullab... 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 Right. So... There's some slack in the business. If we don't take up, someone else will. And you want our help? We take over the territories, hit it hard for a year, and then we all retire. Stupidly rich and happy. We want to read Purdles. <laughs> nice. We, we really like you. We're dog people. We're, We're dog, dog people. <laughs> Great. Deal. Sweet. Yeah, this is so cool. Oh, I just I just know we're going to be great friends here. Oh, I just know it. Sounds like you've got a new best friend. How did you get onto these two? Oh, you know how it is, Rich. Keep me posted. I think our Reg might be a little bit jealous. You and your informant are going to put the ferry out of work. You two about ready to place a listening device in the Oxley Jones's house? All set. Good. So who is this person anyway, Luke? They're obviously well placed. Well, that would be telling. Inside. All right. We'll put the dog in the bathroom. It's all right, Lana Leo. Hey, little dogs are vicious. Listen to it. Back. Beat me! You better find it before they come home. I'll do the bugs. You go and find it. Shit, 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 shit. What are we going to do about the dog? Don't stress about it. Maybe they won't notice. Nessie! Nessie! Where's my baby? Ness! Ness? Oh, Ants, where's Ness? I think they just noticed. Oh, there's something screwing about this. Someone's been in the house. Oh, we haven't been burgled. Did you leave the door unlocked? No, I didn't leave the door unlocked. Right, so someone's just broken in here and taken our dog. Cops? What is that? Cops. Bugs. Nice one. We've been made. I won't find anything. How do you know? Because I hid them. Oh, for God's sake, Ants, this is ridiculous. The cops didn't break in here to plant bugs or take out a dog. There's one other possibility. What? Frank. Oh, don't be ridiculous. Come on. You know, Frank, this is the sort of shit that he pulls. It's a dog. Why would he How steal a dog? How long has he dog? been screwing with us? You're mad. Frank. You know who this is. You know why I'm calling. Who the hell is Frank? Look, don't play games with me, Frank. I want my dog back. But that's not funny. <sighs> Listen, you, you freaking hurt her. I'm, I'm not laughing, Frank. I will kill you. Well, the good news is, I think Frank stole the dog. Frank, Frank, I'm serious. I'm serious, I'm coming around you. Shit. Oh no, has he got her? 
I, I don't believe it. He, he took Nessie. So they think this Frank character's got their dog. Does he have a surname? Uh, that's a good question, and I don't know would be the answer. Uh, Anthony told Church that Frank and him were old business associates, and they had some sort of falling out. Apparently Frank's some big ecstasy dealer. Where's Church now? I don't know. Detective? Luke? Share it with me. It's nothing. Hmm? <clears throat> All right. She goes off. Really? Like you wouldn't believe. I felt violated. It was fantastic. She was. <laughs> the, the whole. Th yeah. Leo, the Oxley Jones dog. I want you to make it your life's purpose to find it and take it back to them. Do whatever it takes. Yeah, but we don't care about it, do we? Oh, we care a lot. Yeah, but they think the Frank guy's got it. We don't know that, Leo. Find the dog. Look, Pam, I don't want things to get violent, all right? Why don't you just knock on the door and ask politely for the dog back? Mate, we don't ask, we take, all right? Mate, what are you doing? That sounds violent. Mate, I'll deal with him. You just deal with Frank, okay? Frankie J, settle down, will you? Chris, no time to explain. I need to do a report of domestic disturbance. At, uh, write this down, 33 Jackson Street, Hawthorne. Word out the local boys, they need to look inside, all right? There's an attaché case, it's full of pills, probably ecstasy. Yeah, and get on to Luke and Masters. <laughs> Mate, I've called Jen. She's going to meet you at the hospital. Yeah, I ate my nose. These fellas are going to look after you. Might be best for you to stay on the other side of the cordon, sir. Sure. Well, this one was easier than a Grey Street hooker. That'll be what? Two million bucks for the Vickies there? What a lot. <laughs> Watch it! Here he comes. Frank Manane. You ever heard of him? No. Glad smart, Frank. Let's help each other out on this one. I need a piss. You just went. I need to go again. I'm a bit nervous, are we? I'm undergoing radiation treatment for prostate cancer. It makes you piss a lot. Now you can wait. What's your prognosis? Good. What do you care? Well, you're going inside for 15 years minimum. I want to make sure you'll see your time. Well, you can give me some names and I'll give you a letter of comfort. That? Alongside considerations for your medical condition and good behaviour, you could be out in less than half the time. You don't want to die in prison, Frank. You give me some names. Starting with who you work for. Can't. Not here. What do you mean, not here? If it's your safety you're worried about, Frank, don't. We can give you all the protection you need. Nobody will get to you. I give you my personal guarantee. Who are you working for?
You're safe with us, Frank. What the hell was that all about? What do you mean? I had a meeting out of the palm of my hand. You walk in and scare the shit out of me. I only offered him protection, Reg. It was coming from you. It sounded like a bloody death sentence. Losing your touch. Apparently. Homicide treating you okay? Yep. Making new friends? Listen, I'm sorry. I meant to catch up with you after our last chat. I thought we were. No need to apologize. I've been avoiding you. I wasn't making an excuse for being a shitty parent. <laughs> I just thought you should be aware. In case I turn out to be a complete nut job like my father. Well, I've got a busy day. As usual, it's been a real pleasure. Heartwarming, Dad. Minions? I wouldn't think so. But you may have a problem with Frank. We had a deal. Yes, I know that. So where was our protection? That was out of my control. The local cops got a tip off. What's he said? He said nothing. I made him very aware of his options, and giving you up wasn't one of them. He'll hold, you reckon? He knows you'll be in trouble if he doesn't. Just be cool. We'll get through it. It's a poodle with a sort of pointy face um, and a fluffy tail. Uh, if anything like that comes in, can you get back to me? OK, thank you. Have you found that dog yet? Does Lady Di wear a seatbelt? I take it that's a no. No. Um, the animal shelters still haven't gotten back to me yet, and the patrol guys are at... at... Well, you better get out there and find it. Now? Yes, now. Is there something going on that I don't know about? It's a dog. It's not about the dog. What? She goes off. <laughs> did Harris tell you that? Well, you know, I, I can't reveal my source, but he did say something about you feeling a little bit violated. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are they... Going off? Yeah. Well, it'd be a jailable offence if they were. You see, Catherine Marks is Luke's daughter. Bullshit. <laughs> well, you don't really think Luke was that concerned about the Oxy Jones dog, do you? Oh. You're being punished, Leo. Oh, sweet love of baby Jesus. <laughs> and then they took a graph from under his arm to stitch over the wound. I've got an armpit for a nose. It's only temporary, babe, until they can do the proper reconstruction. Mate, surgeons these days are bloody magicians. Yeah, you won't know yourself. It you know what I mean, I'm sorry. Frank is dead for this. I don't care how long he's going to prison, because he's not coming out alive. Stop it. It's OK. We'll just pray. Yeah. Okay. Don't talk about that. He's going to be tied up in here for months. Uh, odds on they won't want to even do the deal. What do you say we don't press them otherwise, yeah? Yeah, well, Luke will have something to say about it. Are you holding up OK? Um, we need a favour. It's about your order. Whatever you want. Just name it. Well, we need you to up it another 20. I know, I know. It's just that we don't have any hospital cover. And we don't have the sort of money he's going to need for that kind of surgery. Now, look, if, if money's a problem, I can give you the extra stock on consignment. Pay me back once you offload it. 
Jen, it's not okay. that. It's just... But, I mean, you've got all the connections. Please. We really, really need your help. What's news? Would you care to have dinner with me? Can't, I'm afraid. I've got to go to remand. Get Frank Manani in here today on possession and trafficking. Yes. He's been found dead in his cell. Excuse me. Seen this? <laughs> Whoever did it moved quick. He wouldn't have been in remand three hours. We visited Anthony Oxley Jones last night. He was talking revenge against Manane. What did he say exactly? He said he wanted him dead for what he'd done to him and he wasn't getting out of prison alive. I wouldn't get too excited. Sounded just like chat to me. If Frank Manane wasn't murdered last night, I might agree with you, Peter. There was something else that Anthony OJ told us that Manane's boss is, was. Manius Sorellis. Yeah, we thought he'd retired. What's his connection with the Oxley Joneses? A few years back, the OJs were in a cob of buyers, all of them supplied by Sorellis. Yeah, it was all going great guns until they found out Manane was ripping them off. Everything went to shit. There was a lot of seriously bad blood, all of it directed at Manane. The way I see it, anyone in that cob had a pretty good motive for murder. Well, let's leave it to homicide. Else? Well, we, thought... we want to. You go. Here you go. We want to put the Oxley Jones on ice, at least for the moment, until Anne gets his face reconstructed. Anyway. So you have some qualms about busting him? No, not oh, really. I, I do, anyway, at the moment. Look, the OJs aren't going anywhere. We can get them down the track. Gives me a chance to look into the Manane killing and the co-op and Sorellis. No. Stick with the OJs. There are birds in the hand. You're. Co-op theory is pure speculation, Peter. Ah, the famous Miss Marks. <laughs> Good morning, Leo. I got your messages. Seven, I think it was. That sounds about right. I was hoping we could talk. I got that impression. You're on fourth, right? Yeah. You could have told me he was your father. <laughs> when exactly would you have me do that? Well, I don't know, but you... I mean, fourth, I didn't leave much time. Or, or perhaps while you were going down on me. But I thought maybe that, that might spoil the moment. <laughs> you did this to get at him, didn't you? Luke? Yeah. I think you get off on it. Are you forgetting something? <laughs> I wasn't the one who told him, so that leaves the question, who did? Reference the phone records Frank Manane and the Oxley Jones over the past five years. Common numbers are highlighted. I reckon these are the members of the defunct co op. Holy shit. What? Everyone on this list, we've nailed via Luke's informant, except Menia Sorellis. That's got to be more than a coincidence. Shove over. Well, yeah, maybe Sorellis is Luke's informant. You know what? I reckon Sorellis was using us to take out his competition. Thanks for your help. <laughs> you keep going like this, sweetheart, and you're going to embarrass my friend here. That's enough. Thank you. Bye-bye. Frank Monet. Yeah, it's a bad business. Shit happens. It wasn't necessary. 
Look, Frank, God love him. May he rest in peace. He lived too much of the good life to want to spend his dying days in jail. He would have talked. Yeah, and who could blame him? Very well. That's right. Yeah, chill out. Hey. I'm a cider investigator. If you come up on their radar, I can't help you. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that, because if I go down, you're coming with me. Oh, now you're making threats. Not at all. Just a statement of fact. Our fates are tied. Sorellis these days, are you? Uh, Taking out his competition for him. No, Sorellis is my informant. Oh, and your dealer too, obviously. I... I had to use that to get the confidence. What, a, a dodgy drug addict cop? Yes, oh, in a nutshell. Bloody convincing acting. Intimidating my name. Was that part of your cover, killing him? Don't be stupid. I saw you. No bloody one of the bastards clammed up. I was protecting my informant. Oh, for Christ's sake! Locking up Sorellis is of no value to anyone. His information is too good. Look at that information. Look at it! Did you have anything to do with Mornane's killing? No. Did Sorellis? No. Bullshit. I asked him and he denied it. But you know... Wait. How many of the big guys have we ever caught? Oh. How many of the really big guys... Have we ever caught... Do you seriously think you can negotiate with someone like Sorellis? Well, who says we can't? I'd like to hear Frank Monane answer that one. Your resignation is on the Commissioner's desk by noon tomorrow, or I'm taking it directly to her. And keep the hell away from Sorellis. Detective Marx, please come in. We've uh, we've got a suspect for the Monane killing. Well, that's good news. An inmate, Patrick James Sullivan, standover man. <clears throat> He's awaiting trial for manslaughter. Back in August '99, he was he was up for assault and battery, and Monane alibied him, along with a guy, Minya Sorellis. Well, wouldn't that alibi work against your suspect doing the killing? I know. I think it only enhances it. Well, the fact that there was no struggle means that the killer got close without, um, without drawing suspicion. Physical evidence? Uh, no, we don't have any physical evidence yet. Minya Sorellis, does this guy ring any bells? No. I'll keep you posted. OK. Paul, it's Jen. How are you? Yeah, good. How's Anne's doing? Oh, much better, thanks. We've got one of the top surgeons in Sydney doing the operation, so we're wrapped. Yeah? When do you leave? Well, that's actually why I wanted to speak to you. Could we meet up tomorrow and make the exchange? Look, I know it's putting the pressure on, but... Well, let me get back to you, Jen, but I can't see a problem. Fantastic. I'll wait to hear. Shit, Bye. there's a bloody dog. Little bitch. <laughs> Thank you 
so much. We thought we'd lost her for good. No worries. Oh, you. <laughs> oh, oh, look. You little nuff <laughs> you been. Hey, just wait a minute, will you? See, I've got to get going. No, 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 just wait. OK. Oh, you, you've made our day, mate. I, I can't tell you. No problem. <laughs> You're a little jailbreak, aren't you? Oh, no, honestly, I can't take oh, it. Oh, please, come on, take it. OK. Oh. What happened? This is definitely very weird. I lose the dog and I get the reward. Yeah. They seem really nice, don't they? They do, and we get to bust them tomorrow. So, everyone's a winner. Anyos, what's on your mind? Do you know this man? Should I? You tell me. He made an approach to you, didn't he? Very keen to pick up where Frank left off. I find the timing of that a little disconcerting. And you want to know if he's one of my men, which basically equates to, am I trying to screw you over? That's what you're really asking, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Does he drive a black Monaro? Yeah. Stay away from him. Peter and I are going to enter the park from the northwest corner and wait for the targets here at this park bench. Leo and Chris, you'll be with Reg in the surveillance vehicle. Up here. This should all be pretty straightforward. We don't expect the OJs to be armed. They don't need to. They've got the poodle. <laughs> the code word for the operation will be, have a nice day. Any questions? Well, these people are going to freak out, so just play it cool. We'll see you at the park then. See you then. Luke, are you coming into Shearer's car with us? He's busy. No, Rich, I have some paperwork. If you're in any doubt about what I'll do, if you're here when I get back. I understand completely. Are we done here? Just think of Angie and your son. Oh, God, please make this go quickly. Hey, Hi. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Weren't expecting to see you, Ants. Yeah. Jen thought it would be a good idea to get me out of the house for a bit. Take some time to smell the roses. Right. That's a joke. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> of course. Check it out. We found Nessie. Oh, that's Hi, great. Nessie. Yeah. Beautiful. And listen, um... The business. Yeah. Yeah. 50 grand as agreed. Thanks. Aren't you gonna check it out? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we know where to find you, mate. <laughs> <laughs> and look, thanks so much for going the extra yards for us. We really appreciate it. Next time you see me, I'll have the best nose 50,000 can buy. Yeah, you will. <laughs> Great. Well, have a nice day, okay? Thanks. All units move in. Go, go, go! Well done, both of you. If only they were all that easy. Yeah, what a win. Don't lose any sleep over Anthony Oxley Jones. <laughs> no one wants to be good looking where he's going. <laughs> yeah, nice one, Reg. Blood Knight, give us the cash. Where are you going? Up the bigger fish.
about a coaching. What is it? Not here. What do you want? Your name's come up for the Menain murder. <laughs> they're shitting me. No, I'm not shitting you. They're looking at you. Tell me what happened. Maybe I can head off the investigation. Looks well, like you said our fortunes are tied. Who'd you get to do the killing? If I don't have a name, I can't help you. Huh. Looky here. Hello? Damon, I've got something for you. You know the Collingwood footy ground? Yeah, yeah, I know where that is. See you behind the riders there. I'll be waiting. Look, um, I don't like this conversation. If I'm aside, want to look at me, let them. They won't find anything, and I don't like this. I don't know, maybe it's the smell, you know. See ya. Thanks for taking the time to see me. So what have you got to show me? Just so you know that I'm a serious buyer. Wow. Once again, thanks for the time. You called me all the way out here just to show me the size of your bloody penis. I love your car, by the way. Yeah, Minara. Well, if you want to talk, you've got my number. All right, all right, take it easy. I'm here now, aren't I? Let's talk. Righto. Or maybe you could kickstart the conversation for a change. Sure. Hey? Get up. Down on your knees. Am I on drugs or didn't I just say get down on your bloody knees? Why didn't you buy me flowers? Mate, there's no need for a weapon. Answer the question. Why didn't you buy me flowers? What? You should have bought me flowers. I came here to do business. See, when you say the word business, I get a strange tingling sensation in my ass. If I do business with you, I'm buggered, aren't I? Mm, aren't I? Informant, right? That's what I was told. Am I told wrong? Oh, I don't know. Fairly reliable source. I came here to do business. <laughs> Still, you're a desperate man. You're also a dead man, say your prayers. Put the gun down, Sir Ellis. What are you doing here? I said, put the gun down. Bollocks. Problem solved. So why the meeting? I organized the meeting to set up some business. Sorellas was our most effective informant to date. And what about the drugs? I wasn't aware of any drug activity. What were the drugs? <sighs> Heroin, ecstasy, speed. Is he involved? Oh, well, that's yet to be verified, but in my dealings with Mr. Sorellis... Then he said, get on your knees. Oh, was he using you? There's a saying, today's informant is tomorrow's target. Let's go back to the start. How many more times do we have to go through this? Were you in fear of your life? Of course. I was shit scared. What about Frank? There is no evidence to suggest a link between Monane and Sorellis. Why aren't you opening up about Sorellis? Because Sorellis was dead. You said to me you didn't know Sorellis. Well, I couldn't admit that without revealing his informer status. This is a homicide investigation. I had every intention of apprising you of the situation, Catherine. Once a more substantive link had been established between your suspect and Mr. Sorellis. Do you wish to add anything else? No. Anything you wish to add to that, Senior Constable? No.
You had me going there for a minute. I was getting the impression that you really hated the old man. I'm already working late because of you. <clears throat> what are you talking about? I'm talking about the free kick you gave me in there. Me denying knowing Sorellis, the big no no. Informed or no informed. You don't mind? I'm busy. It's fascinating how objectionable I am to you. And yet you still do something like that for me, and I don't understand that because you're not the type of person that lets things slip. And I know I wouldn't. Unless there's some other reason. Can we get out of here? See, I think this hostility routine is, is just that. It's a routine. And if you hated me so much, why, with all the professions available to you, would you choose to follow me into the police? I didn't follow you. I was inspired of you. Well, there you go. We're not that different after all. Oh, don't flatter yourself. Apart from the unfortunate fact that we share some DNA, there is very, very little that we, we have in common. Why is it so much easier for you to hate me? Would you please go? Why is it, Catherine? I think... Well, why is it? Why is it? Just go! <laughs> no, I... I want you to talk to me. I want you to show some courage and talk to me. You gave it to me. Yeah. I, I went and saw somebody. A psychiatrist. When you told me, a, a few things fell into place, and, um... <laughs> apart from my shitful life in general, apparently I, uh, I exhibit the symptoms. Manic depression, uh, not sleeping. Inability to maintain a relationship. <laughs> The, the, the diagnosis isn't isn't in yet, but uh, apparently I'm, uh, I, I've got it. Or it's, it's it's coming. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. No, you. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh. I will. Oh. I will help you through this. I will help yeah. you through it. I'll be alone.